Folks, I am just about as excited as I can be about what's inside this box right here. And I'm not going to make a mystery out of it. You've seen the title to the video, so you know what's inside here. It's something that I've been itching to get my hands on for years. And I finally had the opportunity to do so. It is the one, the only, the authentic Cliff Quick Test. Now, if you subscribe to the cha same YouTube channels that I do, you have seen this in the hands of a man named Big Clive. And he uses it, like I'm going to use it, to prototype stuff and test stuff and hook things up to electric, uh, you know, mains voltage in a way that is safe and you're not just jamming wires and stuff, uh, flirting with disaster. Now, there's one thing different about this quick test from the one that Clive uses, and it is these colors. These are the North American, United States, and Canada wiring colors. In Europe, I believe they are blue, brown, and wow, I've seen a hundred videos of his and I still can't recall the color. Either way, doesn't matter. These are the North American colors and you can find this online and it's fairly expensive unless you buy them in quantity, which I have. And we're going to get to that a little bit later. But when you buy this, as you can see, there's no cord attached. So like all great things, it requires a little bit of assembly. So what you're going to need to do when you get one of these, and maybe you're going to get one of these, but when you do get one of these, flip it over and on the bottom, there are four flathead screws. I know flathead screws. What is this? The 1980s? Yeah. You know, believe it or not, they still use them. So what you do is you take these four screws out and you pop that back piece off and you have your neutral, your earth and your live. Not sure if you can see that in the camera. There you go. N, E and L. And you're going to need one of these a power cable. Now you can use basically any power cable, as long as it is rated for the job. This one here is upside down. This one here is an SJT. It is 16 gauge, three conductor, good to 60 degrees Celsius. This is actually quite a nice cable. Um, oh, one thing I should mention is that when you are choosing a cable, make sure that you choose one that will, uh, that is good for at least 13 amps. Or if you can't find one, make sure that you replace this fuse with a lower value so that it corresponds with the cable that you're putting on here. That is just a little bit of safety. And uh, what you'll need to do is attach the cable to these lugs that are inside. Now, these just have the uh, letters but if you need a refresher, neutral, earth, and live, the letters correspond to the colors on the clips. Inside here are these two little plastic flaps. And if you are using just a regular cable, you would stick that in here and those flaps would act as a one way to keep that cable from pulling out. I happened to find this cable in my drawer and it has a built-in uh, strain relief. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these and I should have brought my pliers over here. I did not, but a pair of flush cutters, just as good just as, maybe just as good, I don't know, apparently not. Screwdriver? Yes. So, 
This should slot right down in there. I might need to trim it just a little bit with a blade. And should make sure that your wires are in a little bit better condition than mine. Oh, and mine also has this steel cable, which I'm also going to connect to earth as that runs down the jacket. And of course, I don't need to say, do I, that you need to make sure that whatever cord you're plugging into this, connecting into this, is not plugged into the wall. It's not live with mains voltage. So you just slide it right in. That is not good. There we are. Just dress those conductors ever so slightly. And it is, it is fiddly work, but there we are. Get that tightened down. Black goes to the live. And it does look like there are pre-tinned solder connections in here as well. Not sure I would go that route unless I had a specific reason to do so. But, and again, make sure your wires are well twisted so that when you stick them in, they don't fray out. Like mine are doing a little bit, but we're going to ignore that. And one last connection is the white wire, which is our neutral. Again, dress those conductors just a little bit. Loosen that lug and insert. I'm sure there are electricians looking at me do this right now, watching me, yelling at their YouTube screens, their laptop screens, their computer monitors. They're 4K high def because people definitely watch me in that. Going, no, you idiot, that's terrible. Well, gonna work. That's all I care. I will need to trim that just a little bit to get that strain relief to fit in. It's just a little large on that end. but And obviously you would put your panel back on before you do what I'm about to do, and that is plug it in to test it. And we have success. Little neon light lights up when there's power. And then we would insert whatever leads. As you can see, no voltage. Just stray voltage. All you do, close the cover, and we're live at 120 volts because this is North America and we don't have any of that 220 stuff. Well, we do. But there you are. That is how to assemble your Cliff Quick Test. And if you want one of these, I am, I, as I said, I bought a number of them to get a quantity discount and get cheaper. I spent more to spend less. I'll put it that way. I got a quantity price break and I am putting the rest on eBay at cost, my cost. So all you're going to end up paying is what I paid plus the cost to ship it to you if you want one of these. Uh, while supplies last, obviously, and unless I, you know, order some more and put them up again. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Hope I sparked your curiosity a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy to have one of these finally. Um, it's going to make me safer. It's going to make me more productive. And it's just cool. I'm, I'm laying it out there. The main reason that I have it is it's just a cool little gadget. If you want one, go ahead and go on eBay. Pick one up. I'll have them uh, while supplies last. If they really go, if people, if there's really a demand for them, maybe I'll put more up there. But if you like the video, go ahead and give me one of those little thumbs up things. Share it around. Maybe even subscribe if you want to see more like this.